guys bg4x i'm coming at y'all with a quick update on um ncd usd and pretty much what i see happening based off what i said yesterday so you know the chart's still marked up i didn't change anything about the chart this is my analysis from yesterday and uh so far it's going really good you know it looks like price is starting to reject off of the 618 level so we'll zoom in right here and uh if i measure how many pips is rejected we can see that let's go ahead and check we can see that price rejected about 30 pips. Now, this is overall a good sign. Because like I said, if I see rejection off of the 618, um, if I see an M formation and a retest ends up being rejection, I'll end up entering this trade. That's why I drew this M right here. That was for the 15 minute time frame. But uh yeah, we're on a we're on a uh resistance level here that was previously support. But uh, you guys can go check out the last video I posted, and y'all are uh, y'all be able to get a better understanding of why I entered this. So, like I said, here's the M. You know, it depends on how you looked at this. I wouldn't have counted this as a whole M because price didn't break the low until the last few minutes. But we can see that um, we had an M formation and a retest. Now I'll show y'all where I entered. You know, for the uh my followers that have been around for a while, I'm pretty sure y'all could guess where I entered at. After looking at the fib line, I entered exactly at the top of this level. Now if you're wondering how I'm, how do I know, you know, how do I know price reverses right here? Well that's why I like to use the Fibonacci tools. I know most of the time price will reverse anywhere from the six one eight level to this one level, it could come all the way up here in some circumstances, but I find that most of the time on average, price will usually reverse right here in the middle. And not only is it in between the fib lines, it's also at the bottom. It's like in the in the midway of this M. So um, yeah, I went ahead, entered right here with a short um, stop loss. Usually will be at the one level, but I put it a little bit above the wick because that's the previous high. And um, take profit for me is right here. Now, like I said yesterday, this depends on what you uh, what you prefer, okay? Like, in my opinion, I like to get out of trades really quick. I like to catch a good entry, catch the reversal short term, and just get out of it, okay? That's, that's you know, that's the way I like to trade. And uh, so far, the trade is looking amazing. Um, if you're looking to catch the long-term move, I could definitely see price coming down to some previous lows. Or um, maybe even decide to come all the way back down here. Now, uh, like I said, all I'm trying to do is catch a short-term uh, reversal. Now, the thing I see, price actually got very close to I take profit, by the way. It wasn't hit on my um, on MetaTrader, but it looks like it was very close. So um, here's the M. Here's the retest. And we can see that we have a, a significant level right here which is actually a, uh, a demand zone because every time price hits it, it's pretty obvious that price is rejecting off of it. Now, until recently, the last few minutes, I was looking for price to break it and that's exactly what happened. We got a break of the level and it's kind of hard to say whether or not we actually got a, a, a valid retest, but I'll go ahead and kind of, if I can freaking grab this thing, it'd be a lot easier. But uh, yeah, I'll just mark it off by the lows. And you can see that once price broke it, it did kind of wick up to it. So you could technically, you could possibly go ahead and count that as a retest to the level because support and resistance, they aren't just lines, they're actually zones, which is why a lot of times price bounces off, but it's not one particular area, like not at one particular price level. It's more like, it's more in terms of price, you know, rejects off of levels as a whole. So what you can do now, if you didn't get into this trade when I uh, alerted you guys yesterday to keep an eye out for it, what you could do, um, I'm already in it. But one thing you can do if you did miss the move is you can wait for something like this to happen. Price come up here. And if you see price wick, if you see price wick out and reject this level, you go ahead and sell it. And uh, you could possibly catch a move down to this low right here. And that would be, let's see how many pips, uh, 27, 28 pips. So overall, not a bad trade. Um, 
if you entered by uh, what I told you guys to enter yesterday, you can actually hold this for the longer term. But uh, like I said, I just like to get in and out of these trades. So yeah, that's just a quick update on pretty much what's going on with NZD USD. The trade is going great win profits. My stop loss is at break even. Um, everything's overall looking real good, guys. So if you're still in this trade, I know I have a few of my followers actually DM me. They told me that they're wearing this. So if you guys are still in this, if you know if you're comfortable with the profits, you can go ahead and close, or you can go ahead and close like half, uh, half of however much you know your lot size was, and just let the rest run. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep letting it run until price hits this 272 level, which is not far at all. But I could see it possibly coming up a little. And then uh, going ahead and bouncing off of this zone right here. So, uh, like I said, it's pretty much what I see. Trade is going amazing. Um, we're in profits. And, yeah, guys, I'll keep y'all updated. I have another post coming real soon. Um, yeah, peace out.